Megan Arthurs is here to help keep our homes organized and welcoming for holiday entertaining. Hey, Megan. Hey, Mary. How are you? I'm fantastic. I'm so, so happy you're here. You always bring so much joy and cheer, especially around the holidays, oh, I feel like. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and you're gonna get us organized. We're getting organized Perfect. today. So what's the first thing we're tackling? So we want to prepare for overnight house guests. Yes. Now, when we have people staying at our house, we want to really create an environment where they feel welcome, but also an environment that we feel proud to have people in their space, totally, right? Totally. So the last thing we want to be saying is like, welcome to our home, but you know, mind these areas. Don't look here. <laughs> don't, yeah. don't open that closet yeah. door, right? <laughs> so there's three spaces that really do affect your overnight house guests. The first is the linen closet, oh. the linen area. Mm -hmm. We know our guests are going to be gravitating towards towels and sheets and pillows, and that's an area that needs a little sprucing. So when it comes to linens, I really do like using basket containment. Mm -hmm. Not necessary. You can also just fold and stack items, but I find it's really handy to contain your items. And, you know, I'm going to mention the word label because... You love a We love a label. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm very honest about my obsession with yeah. labels, but <laughs> labeling your linen closet is so handy for guests. I don't know about you, Mary, but I have been to family members' homes before, and they're like, please, like, make yourself at home in the linen closet. And I open the door, and I'm thinking, I don't know what to touch. Or like, the thing you need, you think, is this thing and the stack this big, and you're yes, like, it's, you're a, like, it's, it's a Jenga. Is, it's a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what's happened. So when you label things, you really allow your house guests to make themselves at home. Mm -hmm. The second space is the bathroom, mm -hmm. right? So you know they're going to be using the bathroom. It's nice to preset a little organizer or tray of the bathroom essentials that they might need. So extra toiletries, I have Q-tips, a toothbrush, toothpaste, and it's nice to actually display it. When it's displayed, you know, they're not going to be going into your cupboards if you don't have time to organize before the holidays. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice little treat for them. Mm -hmm. And then the final area is where they're sleeping. Mm -hmm. So this is what I like to call little item, large impact. I like so this. thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you would. Yeah. So here I have a little welcome sign with some information that would be helpful, like a Wi-Fi password, mm -hmm. maybe an alarm code. Yeah. And then this cute little item. So this is a charging cord organizer. Mm -hmm. It has a sticky back. You can put it on a night side table, a dresser, even vertically on the wall, and you can create a little charging area for your, your house guests. Do you know who's gonna love that? Your husband. My husband. <laughs> I knew it. It's gonna be a stocking stuffer. Hopefully he's not watching today. All right, now moving on, we're going into the gift wrapping station. Gift wrap. Mm -hmm. So gift wrapping, of course, is a popular activity during the holiday season. It can be messy, and I will say it's the one category in our home that gets over-purchased, mm -hmm. under year, mm -hmm. underused, year after year. So here I have a really neat organizer. It has clear pockets, which I love because I can see through it, and mm -hmm. it's really housing all the goodies. So yeah. I have wrapping paper, bows, boxes. But what I love about this is that it's so easy to store, Ooh, right? Oh, I like you, this. You can zip it up. Yes. <laughs> this is good. Yes, it has handles. So you can actually hang it in a storage room, in a furnace room, using that unoccupied vertical space. Yeah. You can tuck it under a bed. Yeah. You can tuck it under a couch. You can put it up high on a shelf. So we have to think about that when we're bringing product into our home. Is it easy to store? And this one is. That's fantastic, because what I have is this just like loose bag. <laughs> and it's not bag. great. A flimsy loose bag. Never good. I gotta get one of these. All right, now moving on to kind of a holiday themed item. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so during this month, we tend to be out in stores picking up things like napkins and tablecloths, Christmas crackers, and then we put it in different areas of the home and forget about it. Yeah, or you're like, where did I put it? <laughs> right, like five minutes before dinner, I know I bought napkins. Where are the napkins, yeah. right? So if you invest in a basket, a bin, even a cardboard box can work great and just have a designated spot for what I call the holiday essentials. Yeah. That way you know where everything is. You're going to create a lot more ease and stress-free when you're entertaining. That's fantastic. And also, my mom needs this. We have approximately <laughs> 8,000 Christmas napkins in our house. <laughs> she buys them every time she goes out from, like, October to now. Myra, Myra. Myra, Myra. <laughs> All right, now we're going to move on, finally, to the kind of, like, catching clutter of two main zones. Yes. Okay. So it's very interesting our life and our home really parallel each other. Mm -hmm. What happens when life gets really busy, our home takes the brunt of it, mm -hmm. right? And the number one source of where the clutter lands is the entryway. So wherever we enter and exit the home from, maybe the front door, side door, garage door, things land on the floor. Yep. So here I have two decorative baskets that I, I would put in that area. One is for parcels, because parcels are constantly coming in. Yeah. And the other is for seasonal outerwear, because those are the items that land on the floor. We just want to catch it to really cut the visual clutter 
clutter. So yeah. the first thing we see when we walk in is a decorative basket, not stuff everywhere. Not the stuff. The pile of stuff. I get real stressed <laughs> out about the pile of stuff. It's yeah. horrible, right? It, it affects you. It, really it, it does. doesn't just affect your space. Mm -hmm. And the second area that gets really cluttered is kitchen countertops. Mm -hmm. So here I have a really lightweight mailbox. I grabbed this online, not dear in price. But what I would do is actually put vertical strips on the back of it mm -hmm. and then stick it to the wall. So in the kitchen, on the way to the kitchen, that way you can clear the countertop and then you can put your mail on the wall. That's fantastic. I need this for my office. Whenever Megan comes, I have to buy a bunch of new stuff because <laughs> I got to organize my house. That was fantastic. Just a few small little tasks that'll keep things organized this holiday season. Thanks, Mary. Great job, Megan, as per usual. Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.